This video demonstrates efficient semi-autonomous perception and planning, enabling MIT's Atlas robot to quickly pick up and turn on a drill. Our next step is to extend this sequence to drill a wall. First, the robot fits a drill model to the points above a table plane using LiDAR data. Using the drill's position, the robot plans footsteps up to the table to a position which was determined in advance. Using MIT's whole body controller, the robot walks to within a centimeter or two of the goal. Here it is important that the robot's position drift is as small as possible. When it reaches its goal, the robot stops for a few seconds and refits the drill to account for any drift. The algorithm is autonomous, but prompted by the user. Next, it raises its arm and reaches and picks up the drill, all without any human intervention, using online reach planning. Note that the operator is operating the robot's safety winch and in no way interacting with the robot during this execution. G next to turn on the drill. Due to forward kinematic error, pressing the drill's small on button is difficult with a purely kinematic approach. Instead here, the human steps in to localize the button in a camera image with a single click. We specifically use the human's help with steps that are most difficult for the robot to get right. Using stereo visual servoing, the robot drives the position of the textured pointer to the location of the drill button to turn on the drill. This approach is highly autonomous and as a result can be quickly executed. In the 2013 DARPA Robotics Challenge trials, this action took 15 minutes and required the human to decide upon all actions. In this 90 second real time video, the human made two inputs but otherwise supervised the robot at a high level. Finally, the robot places the drill back on the table and returns to the default standing posture. Again, this action sequence is entirely autonomous. Finally, we have recently adapted this action to work with a much smaller modification to the robot's hand, a protruding fingertip. Using the same approach, the robot can turn on the drill very quickly again.